Optimizing local transport in conurbations and reducing CO2 emissions is a major task of the 21st century. Fast, safe public transport is one of the factors determining a city's competitiveness and the quality of life of the people who live in it. In metropolises like Paris especially, which today has a population of over 12 million, planning the transportation systems is a major challenge. The Paris Metro, opened on the occasion of the World's Fair in 1900, ranks together with London and Budapest as one of the oldest subways in Europe. With over 300 stations and around 220 kilometers of track, the Paris subway network is one of the largest in the world. This local public transport system is used by over 5 million people every day, a number which is still rising. Since additional metro lines are scarcely an option, it is now a question of using the existing system more efficiently. In 2006, therefore, Siemens was given a contract to convert Metro Line 1, the oldest and most frequently used subway line in Paris, to fully automatic, driverless operation. This is because on an automated line the trains can run more frequently. This improves punctuality and considerably increases capacity. 725,000 passengers are now transported every day and driverless operation will add about another 70,000. Since March 2012, 14 trains have already been operating fully automatically in a mixed system with 35 driver-operated trains. By the beginning of 2013, all 49 metro trains will be equipped with automation systems. This is a major challenge for Siemens. For all the testing and installation work on the line, there was the challenge of working at night within a very short time, as the Paris Metro shuts very late and opens again very early in the morning. Siemens supplied a control system which involves fitting out the trains with electronic equipment. So we provide onboard systems for the trains and the equipment for the track, which means installing the electronic wayside equipment. And we also provide the operation control center, which supervises all the traffic on the line. In a word, what Siemens has brought to the system is the intelligence required to ensure totally automatic operation. Automatic operation will reduce the energy consumption of Line 1 in Paris by around 15% a year. This corresponds to a 4,600 ton decrease in CO2 emissions. In addition, the trains will run every 85 seconds instead of every 105 seconds. Special doors on the platforms at all 25 stations will provide additional safety. To prevent people from accidentally falling onto the tracks, the fully automatic doors open and close simultaneously with the vehicle doors. All the data is monitored in the Operation Control Center. The Paris Metro customer takes stock. The major advantage is an improvement in service to passengers, as quality of service is superior to the existing system. Another advantage is that with technical progress comes social progress. Company staff can now be offered new career developments. The frequency of the trains can be adapted to the actual number of passengers. This is particularly important in exceptional circumstances such as sports events or trade fairs. And over 110 years after its first journey, the Paris Metro is still the most important means of transport and a symbol of the city that is as well known as the Eiffel Tower. <laughs>